Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome to the first episode of Trust the Boy for FIFA 19. Of course, uh, some of you may know Trust the Boy is about recommending the right player uh, for the right price for your team. And a, a lot of people always ask me, you know, Chu, what, what kind of place should I add to this squad, to my this, to my Premier League squad, to my Serie A squad. So hopefully this video will help you. Um, we'll categorize it from cheap, decent, and expensive. Um, and then, you know, I'll let you know what my opinions are on those players. Based on what I've played in the Weekend League, we've gone through the darkest depths of the Weekend League so far and fought rivals, uh, which is maybe even sweaty in the Weekend League. Um, so these are players uh, I'm recommending from... Uh, players I've played against and I've used in my team personally and you actually learn a lot from playing against uh, I learned more from playing against certain players um, but just a few house notes first of all I'm gonna leave the the Champions League players out of this because you know they're plus one overall higher and I'm, I'm looking for value here and those are they're pretty expensive compared to their base cards in my opinion so I'm not actually recommending them for right now you can go ahead and add them uh, if you or if you pack them that's totally fine but I just leave them out of this video uh, like the prices between uh, the Xbox and the uh, the PlayStation price that you'll see um, over there and Yeah, don't forget at the end of the video. We'll show you some squads that uh, Will hopefully give you some ideas of what to build if you're building a Premier League uh, squad So you know, make sure to stay to the end to get a look at those squads that we will be building uh, But before we get into the the players now, uh, don't forget to hit like also subscribe to the channel for more trust the boy So let's get right into it all right, goalkeepers. In terms of the cheap ones, I think Schmeichel's actually giving me the most problems out of the cheap ones. I would actually recommend him. He's very good this year, in my opinion. I've had, like I said, tons of problems against him. Check his weirdly OP as well. Um, so I would also try him out if you really want to, but I, I would go with Schmeichel. Um, for the decent column, I actually say Edison is very good. He was my starting goalkeeper, and he made some incredible saves for me. I actually recommend him, but I did upgrade to David De Gea, of course. Who is the best goalkeeper in the league in my opinion? Maybe not the best goalkeeper in the game. I would say I'm still figuring out, but in my opinion right now, the best goalkeepers are Hendanovic, De Gea, No Black, and Courtois. Um They're insane. Uh, I've only faced Loris once and he wasn't really like crazy. So I would recommend De Gea. The thing about De Gea for me is that um he's got the craziest animations in the game. And I think the one thing I've noticed about him is that he handles the ball a lot better, so he'll actually like catch the ball instead of like parrying it. I haven't seen him do a lot of rebounds. I haven't considered too many rebound goals. Moving on to the right back position in defense. Uh, if you're starting cheap, uh, Yellen's going to be good because, of course, 93 pace and FIFA 19. The wingers um, lose a lot of pace when they do have the ball. So Yellen's always going to catch up. And the attackers don't really have a lot of strength um, unless you get to, like, you know, the icons, the really high rated players. So Yellen's always going to catch up and steal the ball. Uh, I actually really like Ricardo Pereira. A lot of people have been using him. Uh, Bellerin, of course, same thing. He's going to catch up. My favorite, of course, the best right back is obviously Kyle Walker. I had Valencia, and honestly, I was kind of disappointed with Valencia this year because he's got a weird position this year, and I don't know if it was my my uh, instructions. I did end up changing my instructions from uh, mixed uh, runs to uh, overlapping runs because I feel like Valencia was always a like CDM. He was so tucked in all the time and i just thought that was really weird i switched to walker and he's a bit less he's tucked in a bit but he's not as tucked in as valencia of course you want to go with walker but if you can't afford walker valencia will do valencia was my favorite right back in premier league last year but i don't know that position just feels a bit weird i don't know if you guys know what i mean moving on to the center backs now uh for cheap i would actually go with rudiger rudiger's actually really great good starting uh center back to have great stats uh strong tall you name it small is actually not that bad not as op as it was in the past but he's not bad uh, as is Ake, you definitely want to go Rudiger in that section. I would say Baye is... I actually like Baye this year. He's not as OP as he was, obviously, in the past. But he gets the job done for 11K, in my opinion. Uh, I upgrade to Van Dyke, who I think is the best uh, center back in the league by far. Him and Sanchez are probably the two best. If you want to go for the best pairing, Sanchez and Van Dyke. You can get Aspel quite a bit, Sanchez and Van Dyke. Oh my goodness. Those guys are absolutely insane. Those are the guys I have right now. Van Dyke just wins so many headers uh from a lot of corners as well he's got uh, quite a few goals for me as well he wins a lot of headers on those corners and like if you know how to corner cheese then man you're gonna really like this guy strong doesn't get pushed off the ball tall you name it he's a freaking monster uh definitely the best center back in that league by far then go with davison sanchez on the side uh, now speaking of left backs i actually start off with davies and he wasn't bad for me i actually didn't have any problems with him he's actually very good positioning wise um, so I, I, I'm okay with Davies, honestly. There's Luke Shaw, there's Van Arnold if you want the pace. Alonso I didn't actually like very much. Robertson I felt is better. Uh, but I would say overall, the most balanced left back you're going to get is Mendy. 
He's not like insane, but I still think overall he's probably the better one. But he's probably the best one, sorry. Uh, but actually, again, try Davies out if you're starting out. Um, he wasn't, he was not terrible. He didn't feel as slow as you would think he is. But of course, you probably are gonna have to go with Mendy. Moving on to the defensive midfielders now. Um, my personal MVP, I know I'm Nigerian, you know, so, but my personal MVP is Ndidi, the new Bakioko. Tall, pace, defensive stats, physical, strength, you name it, he's got it. If you do want that Bakayoko feel of the start of FIFA 18, indeed he's going to be, he's like the cheap meta uh, CDM for now. You know, when better players come out and people get more coins or icons, he's going to get phased out, obviously, because he maybe he might not keep up with those players. But when you're starting out, indeed he's going to do the job. He can't shoot, but he cannot shoot, sorry. Um, but he will win tackles. Like he's winning the tackles. Like I just put him out of my team a few days ago for Fabinho. And uh, I think Fabinho is probably the, aside, I mean, if you can't afford Conte, Fabinho is the best. Uh, this match is Fernandino is actually very solid and Dembele is very solid as well. I really like Fabinho. He goes up further than I would like. He's medium medium. He does go up. I'd rather have him sit back, but he's always like at the edge of the box and he can't shoot. So I'm like, dude, what are you doing there? Uh, but of course, Conte, you're going to want content because the thing about right now FIFA 19, of course, is the AI defending is very strong. So the tactic now, of course, I'm not saying it's a good tactic, but it's one that works is that you let the AI control your center backs and you track back with your CDM to tackle the uh, opponent's player. And Conte is the best at that with that pace. And you know how tenacious he is. He's going to win that ball back. So, of course, you want Conte, but you can't go wrong with Fabinho right now. But again, he does go a bit forward, too forward for my liking, but he's tall, strong, you name it. He's got it. For CMs or, I mean, complete mids, let's say. These are, you know, midfielders you can put in any position on the pitch in terms of midfield. Uh, Seri and Herrera. And Herrera is actually really solid this year. I was very surprised by that. Sissoko is an animal. He's a beast. He's so strong. So if you want to have somebody just body people in the midfield, go with Sissoko. But check out that and Herrera. He's all 70 stats. Uh, Dembele is great, of course. You don't see a lot of him this weekend. I think I've only, like, you know, seen him a few times. Uh, my personal favorite CM is Fred. I absolutely love Fred. Fred. Fred has been so clutch for me. He makes some really good runs. It's so weird. I had him in a... He's out of my team now, but I was playing 4 triple two, and I had him at left cam, actually. And he would always show up in the right place if he's coming off the wing. Uh, he's high, high. Very well-rounded. The shooting's better than I thought. The shooting's better than the, the rating says. He feels more like high 70 shooting sometimes. I, again, He's come up big for me. Tap-ins, whether it's tap-ins, long shots, long finesses, you name it. Uh, don't look over Ox as well. 4K, he's 4-star, uh, 4-star. He'll get the job done when you're just starting out. But I really do like Fred a lot. And of course, you can go with Conte. And there's Pogba, who, in terms of what he offers, he probably offers the most. Um, his tackling, again, not it's not going to be as good as Conte. Uh, the shooting I'm actually a bit weird about this year. I don't think the shooting is as good as it was in previous years um, For what I feel I haven't scored that many goals with him um, Like I used to when I played my CL but height five star skills and um, You can get the physical right? So he's, he's probably the CM that you want the most in the Premier League hands down moving on to attacking midfielders Now I really like Sigerson because of the shot uh, finesse shots are OP of course long shots now that they've patched the game to give you more laces uh, lace laced shots uh, hard to say that word um, I think Sigurdsson is going to be key because that dude can shoot and he's got free kicks as well so hopefully they fix the free kick you know when they fix that free kick sensitivity I don't know if you noticed but the sense, the power bar is very weird this year in FIFA 19 but if they fix that the free kicks will be insane too he's got great long shots uh, now for me no oh my god this freaking card um, this is probably him and Mertens are the two cards I cannot stand this year. Firmino just doesn't miss, man. I know he's a CF. Try him out at camp because he doesn't have the pace, right? But this man can shoot. He's weirdly strong. I don't get why he's that strong. My defenders just don't hold on to him sometimes. Man, give him a shot. He, I fear this guy, man. You can try Hyungman's on. A lot of people, of course, you know, play Hyungman's on at Cam. Uh, Mkhitaryan is a good starter one because he's got five-star weak foot. So you can spam finesse shots. Uh, that seems to be the thing that works right now. On both feet but man for me you know if you don't want to try him at st good god man i have nightmares about that guy he does not miss great positioning as well high high work rates of course the best uh, you can get is kdb insane shots of course and ericsson is very good ericsson's a lot stronger than i expected as well there's some players who are just weirdly strong and i don't get why they are Firmino is the big culprit there oh my god again i'm gonna i'm not gonna sleep well now for the left wingers cheap you can try out bernard but he's super weak but he's super sweaty 
if that's what you want. Uh, Diego Jota as well. Uh, Hyungman Son is insane. He's got a great shot. Great finishing on Hyungman Son. Low driven, still broken in my opinion. Marshall is what I'm going with right now, but I'm about to upgrade to Mane. I'm literally about to buy Saito Mane. Talk about him in a second. Uh, I'll go Marshall over Rashford. Rashford, the shooting. Um, something about the finishing, not the shooting. The finishing wasn't there for me, if I'm being honest, but he's very sweaty. Um, and honestly, out of the three expensive guys, for me, Mane is the scariest. Mane feels the fastest out of those three when I've played against him. Um, Hazard doesn't feel as sweaty, and he's not as strong as Mane, so he gets pushed off, but... He's got the finishing and he's got the shooting, you know, um, I would if I was one on one of the keeper Hazard would be the one I would choose out of these three if I'll be honest Son is good for back post crosses That's also something I should mention the wingers get a lot of back post headers and Marshall has been very good at that for me He's pretty tall Son is pretty tall as well. He's very good at back post crosses a lot of people have cheesed me with that really hard but Mane is the one I, I, I have the budget to go for Mane and Sane. I'm going for Mane. He's so sweaty. He feels so freaking fast in this game, which is very important. Um, I think he can get past that defender cheese where the defender catches up with you. Um, some players are, are can really get past that. Like uh, Mbappe, I think Mane just feels like he's 94 pace. On the right, I'm actually missing one player, De La Feu. Um, could be considered a good option, but he's not that strong. Shakiri's great. And Adama is super sweaty. He cannot shoot. But if you do want to sweat it across uh, to someone who can shoot, check out Adama. He's so overpowered in terms of just pure speed. Um, his physical should be way higher. That guy is so jacked. Um, in terms of decent action, I think the best R, uh, RW is Mares. The skills come off so nice. The agility is insane. He's got you know, the five-star skills, of course. Um, Sterling is good. Villian is well-balanced. But I think Mares, if you know how to dribble, I would go Mares. If you got the money, you can go with uh, Salah. The weak foot isn't great, but honestly, something a lot of people using Salah have been doing uh, against me is like, you know, they're coming out the right. And, you know, you can either, you know, you can obviously finesse. He's got good finesse, of course. But what they're doing is that they're literally shooting like a straight shot to the back post coming from the right. And the keeper does this weird, stupid save. You guys know what I mean when the keeper tries to save like that? He just does this. I, I, you know what I mean? He does this weird, stupid save. And. People who use Salah always do that against me. So I don't know if it's a pattern I'm noticing. So try Salah out. But I think bang for your buck. Maybe Mahrez might be better. But uh, you're obviously going to try and go for Salah. Now for the strikers. Um, Zaha, honestly, for me, is really great value. Five-star skills. He's He's got good height. The pace feels good. Uh, the shooting is better than I thought it would be. Uh, it's not, like, amazing. But it gets the job done. I'll be honest with you. This might sound... This might sound controversial. I got more value out of Zaha than I did Aubameyang. The thing with Aubameyang is he he's good. The finishing on Aubameyang is good. But he does not feel like 94 pace at all. He feels like low 80s pace in my opinion. I think it's because of the body type. And he's got very low agility. Um, but we'll get to the expensive SDs in a second. But Arnautovic is good if you like that hold up play. But uh, if you like the sweat, Zaha. Firmino, like I talked about, this guy is insane. Dude doesn't miss, but... Uh, if you want to sweat, put somebody else in front of him. Uh, something to do with um, Firmino is like if you're doing two strikers, have one really fast striker along with him. He's very good at link up play. He's incredible at that link up play. He can hold it up. He can win headers, things like that. He's very good positioning wise and he can set your other striker up. Lacazette, let me tell you, Lacazette was my biggest surprise so far in terms of attackers. That finesse shot, his finesse shot is so dirty. I scored like some crazy finesse volleys. I tweeted one out. Uh, I scored a crazy finesse volley like it curved around the keeper insane. He's got the new 86 I didn't put it in there because it just came out as a McCoy list. Gabriel Zeus, sweaty. He's caused me quite a few problems You can go with him as well. Lacazette for the price. I think is really valuable. You can go with Gabriel Zeus He's not as his, his he's not as OP as he was last year, but he's still good out of the expensive guys Honestly, Aguero is back in foot. I thought the last two years Aguero has been that great But this year Aguero is good. The shooting is insane he feels fast too. He doesn't feel like he feels like high 80s pace in my opinion, but the shooting is insane. The finishing is insane. Like I said, Obama has good finishing. I feel like the medium low work rates kind of mess with him. So if you expect him to be up there all the time, he's not really up there all the time. And I feel like he goes missing when you play against really OP teams. Uh, Lukaku is very good because he's tall and win headers. And also when you're through on goal, you know, usually the defender just like grabs onto you and like pushes you off. They're not doing that with the big man Lukaku. Let me tell you, they Lukaku destroys them. So um, you can get that with Lukaku. So try him out. Now we're gonna take a look at some squads for different prices that you guys 
can try to build towards or just to help you come up with some ideas so let's go check that out okay let's take a look at some of these squads now this first squad is uh we've got three squads here this first squad is 100k and i do like 4231 it's the formation uh, i'm primarily using right now i was doing 4 triple two but that wasn't working for me uh 4231 wide is doing really well because um especially if you're not good at defending he's got those extra two cdms i actually like playing one of the cdms who is a bit more offensive so he can move forward versus one guy who's very defensive and you know not doesn't offer too much offensively right this is good because he's got the wide play so you can sweat and do some skills i think the key this year is because since ai defending is so op the middle is very clogged up unless you have super, you have really good reflexes you know how to do a lot of good tiki taka i would say it's better to go down the wing so here we got zaha lacazette you can cover with a finesse shot zaha's got the pace uh rash has got the pace down the wing as well mars if you want some trickery and dd for the defense and Herrera, good physical but can also push up he's got high high work rates you got Rudiger Bailly and Schmeichel, Robinson and Pereira at the back. So very, I think this is very a very good 100k balance, 100k team that gets you everything in the right position. Now this is about, <clears throat> I think this is about like 500k. So you can you know build up that squad, make it a bit better. Uh, this is a 4-3-3 again. I think wing play is very important. Mane with the sweat down here, uh, good strength as well. He's gonna hold out the defenders. Fernandinho is gonna level out this midfield because Firmino is gonna push up. Uh, win some headers, uh, get some finesse shots, uh, make some good passes to Gabriel Jesus uh, with Mars on the wing. Fabinho, defensive as well, but he's got medium medium, so he pushes up just a bit. So you have for an idea to balance that out. And then you can upgrade to Sanchez. Um, actually, I was going to put, who was I going to put here? This is going to be Ederson. And this will cost you about 500k. Valencia, you'll upgrade to, and also Mendy. And this now is probably the best team you can get for the Premier League. It's about 2 million coins in case you want to go there. Of course, if you're going to spend that much money, definitely put some icons in the team. It's all about getting icons in. So you're probably not going to go ahead and make this. But just to give you an idea, you know, Aguero, Aubameyang, KDB up top, Fabinho, Conte. And this should be Pogba. Excuse me. This should be Pogba right here. Uh, Pogba, Conte, Fabinho, Kyle Walker, Van Dijk, De Gea. Sanchez and Mendy so hopefully you know this video and those squads helped you figure out what you want to do with the Premier League if you do let me know in the comments below which team you want to see sorry which league you want to see next if you want to see Serie A La Liga things like that and I'll get cracking on that next video appreciate all the support don't forget to hit like subscribe I'll see you guys later peace